you've got a million dollars. In one hand, you have a copy of Action Comics number one, the first appearance of Superman. In the other, you have a copy of Detective Comics number 27, the first appearance of Batman. Which one would you choose and how would you make that decision? Before we dive deep into the analysis, let's see what a million dollars would fetch. Gone of the days when a million would buy a high grade copy of either book at 8.0 out of 10 or better. Recently, an Action Comics number one at a 6.0 sold for more than $3 million, and a Tech 27 at a 4.5 sold for over a million. My guess is that today, a million dollars might get you a 2.5 or 3.0 copy of Action 1, and a 3.5 or 4.0 copy of Tech 27. Now, these copies might present okay, but they're far from being in pristine condition. Let's move to the showdown. These books are going to compete in five rounds. Historical significance. Both these books came out in the late 1930s. Of course, they both feature first appearances of major superheroes. Nevertheless, in this category, Action One is the clear winner. It is the book that introduced the world to superheroes. In fact, the book is so important, it serves as a historical marker. Everything before it is the Platinum Age, and Action One and everything after it through 1955 is part of the Golden Age. Round two, coolness of the covers. Covers play a big part in collecting. What's nice about both of these books is they feature their characters on that cover. Sometimes first appearances don't actually have the main character on the cover. I've looked at these covers hundreds if not thousands of times and appreciate both of them. You got Superman there holding that car. You have people kind of in shock around him. The one guy has got his hand over his face wondering what to do. And in Tech 27 you have Batman swinging across the cityscape as if he were Spider-Man. They're both really cool covers. How However, I would suggest that they are not the best covers that Batman or Superman have ever had. For example, for Batman, Detective Comics number 31 that came out just a few issues later is far superior in my opinion. In fact, many people consider that to be the best cover of all the Golden Age. And for Superman, there are other books, especially in the Superman series, that are better. For example, Superman 14, where he is standing with that shield with the tanks in the background and the eagle on his arm. He can't get more American or patriotic than that. So I think that's a better cover than action one. So my thinking is that these covers are iconic. They're really good, but not great. And I'll call this round a tie. Round number three is about the popularity of the characters today. This category is clear cut. In the last 35 years or so, it's no doubt that Batman is more popular. He sells more comic books, does better in the box office, and generally perceived as cooler. Clearly you are correct. I am so much cooler than Superman. If you like me and you like this content, please give this video a like. Round four is rarity. Part of the reason these books are so expensive is because they are legitimately rare. For Action 1, there's only 77 copies on Census, and for Tech 27, there are merely 74. Now, let's contrast that with other major books. So, Amazing Fantasy 15, the first appearance of Spider-Man, has over 3,500 copies graded by CGC, and Hulk 181, the first appearance of Wolverine, has over 15,000 graded. So in comparison, these books are super rare. And the difference between them, 77 versus 74, is so close that I'm going to call this round a tie as well. The last round, round number five, is about long-term investment. Now, let me say that past performance doesn't guarantee future performance, but I think it's interesting to look way back in history. So with me, I have the Overstreet comic book price guide, and this is a copy of the original, the first edition that came out in 1970 by Bob Overstreet. They list both Action 1 and Tech 27. So if I open up this book... And there you see Action 1 listed, and it's $300 in the best condition. Now let's go to Tech 27, flipped right to it, and there it is. In the best condition is $275. That's what we're looking at today. Tech 27 is just a half step lower than Action Comics number 1. So from a long-term investment perspective, I think you're going to get about the same rate of return for either one. So I'm going to call this round a draw as well. Okay, the five rounds are finished up, and if I was in this position about which one I would buy, here are my thoughts. As far as characters go, I like Batman. In the 80s and 90s when I was collecting as a kid, I would get way, way more Batman comics than I would Superman. And I think the emblem is cooler. I have much more Batman gear than I have Superman. But all that said, there's one round that Superman won that I think trumps all the others, and that's historical significance. Without Superman, there are no other comic book superheroes, and the world would be very different than it is today. No X-Men lunchboxes, no Spider-Man movies making hundreds of millions of dollars, no Avengers and so forth. 
they all owe a huge debt of gratitude to Action Comics number one. And for that reason, that's the book that I would choose. You betrayed me. I rescind my like. What you've done, sir, is admirable. I have now subscribed to your channel. How about you, my friends? If you had that million dollars, would you spend it on Action One or Tech 27? Thanks so much for hanging out with me and hope to see you around real soon.